in 2022 as the pandemic slowly subsided. We decided to take a leap of faith to travel as a family of four for the first time. It's our first time in Perth traveling with us as our friend Bernie. As we took a red eye flight, my wife and the kids fell asleep all the way from Perth Airport to our first destination, Wasserton. Must visit if you are trained loving tolerance. This ride is surprisingly therapeutic with its blue skies and shiny seas. Our first accommodation is a simple bush cottage surrounded by kangaroos and mother nature. At night, we are treated to a sky full of stars. We woke up early to try to catch the sun and boy are we memorized by the beautiful sun rising behind the hills. The main reason why we choose to visit Australia is mainly for our kids to experience the farm life, taking fresh air and the ground free without their masks on. I'm glad they are able to take this trip as a family to make up for the lost opportunities in the last two years. Eagle Bay Beach, where the water is teal in color in contrast with the light blue skies. Surprisingly, we have the whole beach to ourselves. They say travelling allows you to discover new things about yourself. 
realize the kids really love animals and we love seeing how they talk to the animals and feeding them with carrots. Oh, you want to run? Okay, there you go. Hi, one got up. We were lucky enough to be at Market River area on the weekend to visit their farmer's market. Yeah. Although the offerings are limited, we love how fresh, raw and homemade everything is. Here we witness the spectacular seascape view of the Indian Ocean and the wave rushing against the granite coastline. I see Spider-Man already, then you have to say, Hawk, Spider-Man! Hawk, man! One of the highlights for our boys is our caravan stay at Swan Valley. Although it's located within a private property, this stay has everything we hope and wish for. Mommy? Mommy share? Yeah. Yeah. Meeting the ships and alpacas up close was one of the coolest experiences as they roam freely within the property. Here the kids have fun interacting with the fun animals, they are flea roaming and even get to feed the baby lambs.
And just like that, we bid goodbye to Swan Valley with pizzas, chips and beers. Back in Perth City, we check in to one of the most beautiful Airbnb we ever stayed in. We also check off Jonah's bucket list of meeting the carcass at Runness Island. <laughs> Oh yeah! Jump, jump, jump! We were told that a Perth trip will not be complete without a meal at Chow Italia. Our favourite dish has to be the chili mussels. The kids act so well here. Where's the starfish? Where's the starfish? Oh, I saw four, you know, I saw four. Want some more fries? It was Jonah's lucky day. There was a kids event organized by the restaurant and he got to make some new friends here and even pet a shark. The last two days were for the ladies to shop while I hang out here with the kids. Thankfully, the playground is great for the kids to run around while I chew at the corner with my coffee. As we come to the end of the trip, we are glad we have an unforgettable journey as we discover new things about the boys and also ourselves. 
will certainly come here again soon. See you again, Australia.